So those of y'all who have been here for a hot minute have probably seen my stamp set up. I mean, this is, it's been, it's been a, a real hot minute. <laughs> um, but I haven't really been very good at keeping up with it because uh, it was not as visually appealing as I would like it to be. And I got, uh, I kept just like falling off of it. Um, but basically, if you don't know, every stamp represents like a task basically um so i have all of these stamps and each of them represents a different thing like this is straightforward wash the dishes that's what that stamp means and then i have a little journal where i put the stamps i know that i did the thing and also it encourages me to do the thing because i get to do a little stampy stamp um and i had a different book before and i was trying to do this one because this is a very cute book, right? And I started off good. I start none of these pages are totally finished, but I started off good. Um and then it uh just kind of slowly turned into nothing. <laughs> but I want to start it up again because my sense of time is totally whack. Um, but I have to change these because this is no longer correct. Uh, I put the dates in ahead of time only to not actually do them. But this is actually before I was just doing it like in a row. And this is a little time stamp thing that I cut out so that I can... It's, it's better to know what time I do things, especially for like medication and stuff. So I know when I have to take it next. Um, so I'm going to attempt... To get back into this and I'm cutting out well I'm printing out and then I'm cutting out um there's like a free Animal Crossing printable calendar for like the birthdays I couldn't use this for like a regular calendar because it has little characters in it but I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna use these as the little date markers because I think that would be pretty cute and better than just like the regular numbers so I'm hoping I'm just trying to add some more dopamine into this so that I'm more willing to do it <laughs> because it helps me keep track of things because otherwise I don't know where I am okay so today is not the 20th it is the 9th so we're gonna put oh can I do this with one hand drift you can still kind of see the 20 in the back <laughs> But I can't take it off without uh, ripping the paper. So, also, don't yell at me for not, like, cutting this out meticulously. I'm just... This is for me. <laughs> but we will see how today goes. Today is also a... Uh, I'm switching medications, and I'm having a massive withdrawal day, so today is probably not going to be too much, because I feel like my brain is not in my head, and that is awesome, so...
So I feel like absolute shit today, so um, I'm going to make some soup. Soup! <laughs> um, I have a bunch of frozen vegetables that I keep in my fridge. Uh, because if I don't freeze them, they will go bad so fast. So let's see what I have here. Uh, this is celery. These are green peppers, I believe. And some of those. And cucumbers. That's a big chunk. You wanna see? See the cucumbers? Let's put the chunk in there. I had green onions, but I'm pretty sure I ran out. Um, let's see. carrots. <laughs> I gotta throw these out though first. Okay. Ooh. I 
just need to fit in the pot. <laughs> this is just the broth. I'm gonna blend all this up so it really doesn't matter how big the pieces are. Now this has got a boil for maybe like an hour. <laughs> And then it'll be everything will be soft and blendable. Um, and then I can add things to the broth. Oh, we're dancing. Oh shit. Oh. What music are you hearing? <laughs> So he's being moved. Don't leave robots next to boiling pots of water. It's an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, what are we dancing to? Oh, so excited. So excited. Oh. Okay. This looks soft enough to me. So... There's a soup setting on this. And this is very orange because there was a lot of carrot in there. <laughs> I'm gonna let that cool and I'm gonna make rice to put in the broth. And you can obviously add I got my spices and stuff, but it's pretty easy. A little bit time consuming purely because you just have to wait for everything to uh, soften up. And like, yes, technically frozen vegetables don't have, I don't, something about the freezing process means you don't have as many veg or vitamins in your vegetables, but it's this or not eating vegetables. So I think this is the better option, obviously. <laughs> I see a lot of people who make broth, they put they let the vegetables steep, but then they take them out. Um, and I prefer to blend them in there because I have like a high powered blender. Uh, so I can just pretty much completely puree this. There's like nothing, no little bits and bobs in there. And then I put the rice uh, in there as some texture because I like soup and I don't feel good, but a lot of canned soups have so much salt in them that it makes me feel more sick. So this is a good, option, not super difficult. Definitely could have had a higher rice to broth ratio, but this was all the rice I had left, so. <laughs> but there we go. Good soup. Good soup.